Valiera Jr., a, uh, a great competitor. Yeah. This is a, uh, a very competitive quarterfinal match here in the middleweight division. Tonoko, he's, uh, he's a world silver medalist. He's, uh, he's been there. He's made the podium in the past. Valiera Jr. made the podium of uh, major tournaments such as Pans, but Europeans also. Yet to do so at Worlds. Yeah. Uh, I'd say Liera really needs to use close guard, he needs to some tricks. Tanoko is a mo monster. I, that's a pretty accurate description yeah. of, mon <laughs> of yeah. Marcus Tanoko. He, he really is. And, yep. and the word is from within the Marcelo Garcia camp is that uh, everybody knows how dynamic and, and how powerful Mateus Deniz is, yep. right? Everybody knows, you can see it when yep. he competes. He's a middle, middle heavyweight. And, uh, but everybody tells me that actually Marcus is the stronger yep. of the two physically. He has just these iron grips. <laughs> you know, Ma Mateus is the more explosive, but yet, you know, Mateus, is, uh, sorry, excuse me, Marcus has that, has that incredible squeeze yeah. and, uh, yeah, an absolute physical specimen. Yep. And, um, you know, it's been really interesting to see his performance this last year or so, Sean, because Marcus, he's actually been uh, really, really active. Um, I mean, he, he, he's, he's a regular competitor, at the, you know, all the time. He's competed in a, a bit of everything. He's a Brazilian champion last year and a world silver medalist the year before that. But but this year we've seen him do everything. Gi, no gi. Oh, beautiful sweep oh, attempt here goodness. from the close guard. Very close to hitting that hip bump sweep. There it is. Yeah. Almost doesn't quite manage to get it. Oh, what an escape from Michael Yera Jr. Wow. Michael Yera Jr. put on notice there. Do not sleep on Marcos Tanaco because he will hit you out of nowhere. Yep. With techniques, but and uh, that was some work cool, to get out of that, calm, right? <laughs> collected defense for for Liera right there. It would have been very simple to panic. But he just stayed nice and calm, rode that one all the way out, and recovered right back into the closed guard. It was exceptional recovery. Got to watch this left leg pummel. Yep, they pummeled the leg in. Was able to complete that sweep pretty easy once that left leg got through. Yeah, the uh, I think the key there for Liera Jr. was just not to panic yeah, in that position, yeah, right? Just absolutely. Stay calm. <laughs> feel feel where the movement was going, and and yesterday we saw him take out Tommy Langacker just right at the end with like can't get much better timing than the sweep that he used on Langacker because he was in he was getting his guard passed and and he just used such exceptional timing on the sweep that he made, and that that. That defense just reminded me of that. Just the timing that he he used to to get himself back to neutral was super impressive. So he is a uh, an absolutely phenomenal technician, yep. here, a junior, yep. a very cerebral yep. athlete. Um, you know, training in Atos, of course, HQ in San Diego under the the supervision of Andre Galvao and alongside incredible teammates. You know, such as Lucas Holt-Barbosa, Gustavo Batista, Dominic Bell, uh, Andres Brunovskis, uh, many, many others, too yeah. many to name, especially if you consider the color belts as well. <laughs> but uh, Michael Liera Jr., uh, 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 as capable as he is physically, he is also, uh, he's probably best known for his technique, I would yeah, say. Yeah, right? I'd say that, say? yeah, I'd say, you know, out of that group of monsters, he's, he, He's not as physical as a lot of his, his teammates. He's more of that really calculated, precise, slick type of technique. Yeah, and you really see him really getting you know dragged into those physical battles right, right. Matt as well. He's very good at yeah. uh, kind of controlling the rhythm of the yeah. match, slowing it down, making okay, it a chess yeah. game. Close guard. Close guard is a definitely a place where he would like to be, I think. But this here, this lapel control is interesting, Sean. What do yeah. you think about that? I think he's trying to get an put himself up on his left hip to create some sort of angle up and out and shoot the guard closed and have get above the knee. You think he's going to hit trying a, a lasso sweep to his right side? He could try. I, it'll, it'll be hard unless he can really get up, almost invert. I think he wants to try to invert and shoot the shoot the, the left leg through. 
Yep, and get up, get above the knee. So it's like that scoop grip that we saw earlier from the, the closed guard. Um, and Lira Jr. doing an, an excellent job of, of frustrating Marcus Tunoco with these grips. Everywhere Marcus goes, there's a there's a foot or a hand or yeah. a lapel impeding yeah. his progress. Four thirty. He's now he's let go of that lapel. Nice work Ooh, there man. from Marcus Tanaco. Almost the manages to get around those legs, but Lira Jr. manages to get that foot over the top and into the lapel. Saves him right there, and now actually in an attacking spot. Wow. See, again, this is why we said, Sean, yeah. you can't give Marcus Tanaco <laughs> an inch. There's no. the moment that those grips are released. That's what happens. Yep. Really nice bullfighting technique to nearly past the guard and again beautiful recovery by Liera just a little reminder of where we are in this bracket the winner of this match will go on to face Gabriel Arges in the semi-final of the uh, middleweight division they are in close guard now very nice arm drag he has good close guard so let's see how he chooses to attack Tonoko here Try to sweep to the right. Here is Junior with that scoop there. Yep. Now this is actually something his teammate Dominic Bell does very, very well. He's got a great series of sweeps from this position. And that's exactly who is in the corner right now, urging the era Junior to go for it. Oh, it looks like Liero is actually trying to pass the sleeve grip through yeah. underneath the leg, but I love I love this position. You go on the arm. You can even if you if you can get to the far leg with the right with his right hand, he can even come out. Yeah, try to take the back through there, but Tonoko's grip. See how to Liero's right sleeve. So, and eagle-eyed viewers would have seen just in the background is another middleweight match going on quarterfinal between Otavio Souza and Jaime Canuto. So this, uh, just a reminder of the middleweight bracket oh, and how deep it is. <laughs> and that's a completely the other side of the uh, of the bracket. So the winner of this match, like we said, will get Gabriel Arges in the semi-final. Interesting use of the lapel now here again from the era junior. I mean, to be honest, I can't even keep up, Sean, with the names of all these lapel <laughs> positions. The names, I can't either. <laughs> and I'm sure if I was to call it one thing or another, people would uh, immediately correct me. Yes. As actually, no, that's not the worm. That's the uh, <laughs> the upside down Polish uh, yes. caterpillar guard yeah, or something. I, yeah. I, it's difficult when. Tanaka doing 30. his best to address those grips, the lapel. You can see his right hand stuffed down low. I think he's going on for a, a little grip battle with that lapel, uh, the hand controlling the lapel. He's got, yeah, he's got both hands around the knee. Now, now Tanaka just sprawls the legs back. Lira Jr., his left leg in between them. Controlling, running. head down is Marcus Tanaka. Oh, oh, nice, strong pass attempt here from Marcus Tanaka. He's going to get that. Yep. yep, he's going to get that. Three points on the board for Marcus Tanaka. 
Lira Jr. does manage to get the half guard back here. He's looking to sneak through that bottom leg, but it is too late. Marcus Tinoco exploding past the guard, getting three points, and now riding a five-point lead with the Brown about 12 seconds left on the official clock. And that, that to me, was a really nice, uh, sh you know, display of experience where Tinoco might have laid off a little bit. Liera might have been thinking, there's only 30 seconds left. He's going to lay off. He's just going to play defense and boom, put Quite the, the nail in the coffin right there, really. Yeah. yeah, just attacked when he felt Liera relax. And wow, fantastic. Very yeah. composed performance from Michael Liera Jr., who we see right there tying his belt. But, uh, I mean, as, as a technical as he was, and he had something in every single position that they went, there was something frustrating Marcus Tunoco. It was just a very, very composed performance and I think experience really coming through there, Marcus Tunoco, to take the win here in the middleweight quarterfinal. Let's take a look at some of the, uh, the key moments from this match here. Double guard pole. This was the sweep attempt we saw from the hip bump earlier. I, mean, I just can't believe that Liera managed to escape out of that. I really can't. And you can see his face, it's just there's no yeah. exertion on yeah. his face, even in a position such as that. Yeah. But here is the, the, the guard pass attempt now. And we see just the very, very smart move by Tanoko in, in just popping around. There was a last second knee bar attempt there as well. It's, it's Liera Jr. doing his best to try and catch something, but over by that point. Yeah. Very solid performance.